Hello traders, welcome back to my channel. So I haven't done one of these in a while. I wanted to bring you a new video on uh, trader funding companies. This time uh, reviewing a company I've never talked about before, but I've been hearing a lot about Apex Trader and I went ahead and opened an account to check it out myself. So I'm gonna give you a whole guide and review here and just tell you what this company is all about. So, first of all, here's a table of contents of what I wanna get through in this video. I'm gonna try to be as concise and to the point as possible to not make it very long. Most of these companies, you know, they all work through rhythmic data. It's a very similar setup process. So even if you're considering other companies, you know, this video might be very informative in terms of just how uh, things work. And then here, if you do want to try them, there is a 50% off discount code in the video description or I'll pin it in the comments. If you do want to check them out, you can get 50% off for life from any of their evaluations uh, through my link and that'll help the channel um, just to keep um, growing and putting out more content as well. Okay, so let's dive right in and the first point we want to talk about is what are the pros and cons of this trader funding companies you know because maybe you're asking yourself is this right for me why should i do it so this is just sort of the main points that i see with them so first obviously is your chance to get your own funded trading account where you're going to keep most of the profits so what that means is if you complete the rules and goals of the evaluation size that you choose you're going to get a account equivalent equivalent to that keep in mind though this uh most of these companies the accounts even if you're funded are still going to be simulation accounts but you're still going to be able to draw funds out of it so this is just something that's worth clarifying because just a few of these companies actually will give you an account, you know, where all your orders actually go into the CME and get executed with live accounts, etc. Most of these companies will just run a simulation account, but they're going to count that as real money that you can pull out if you make profits. Then second pro is obviously you're not risking real capital yes there is a small uh, monthly cost to this for the data etc but you don't have to open a real live account with a broker then it's a way to practice with live data and not having to open a real broker account a lot of times if you want to be able to sign up for like a cme live data account in order to qualify for like a cheaper uh, non-professional account etc you are probably going to have to go through the process of sending in a wire deposit putting in money to open a live account fill a bunch of paperwork so with these companies you get the chance to just get your live cme data already it's included in your monthly membership so even if you're just using it mostly to develop and practice as a trader that's one of the advantages as well now it's a better way to trade demo because like i said even though you're using simulation accounts there's a bigger incentive to get your own funded account at the end uh, you can use a variety of platforms so that's another advantage and you get a free ninja trader license so for people that are interested in ninja trader you can use the platform for free while you're uh, doing your evaluations and then obviously not everything is perfect there are a few cons that i see so first one uh, there's a set rules that need to be followed some companies are more lenient than others and this is one of the aspects i'm going to talk about apex that i like they have less rules than most of the competitors it can lead to unrealistic risk management because you know people 
sort of treated as a demo or a practice account because it's technically a demo account. And so, you know, they just start taking on huge position sizes. They may not use stop losses or they may just move their stop losses. They don't look for good entries, good risk reward trades, etc. So you just got to take uh, treat this as a very real and uh, serious account. There is a monthly cost, so obviously it's not 100% free. You do have to pay for the data and the evaluation. And even if you're funded, you're still paying a monthly cost for data as well. And there's not a lot of risk setting options to protect yourself like with a broker. So if you go into a real futures broker, you know, you can tell them, okay, I only want to be able to trade this instrument. Uh, I only want to allow this position size to be open. If I hit a certain number of loss in the day, I want my account locked for the day, etc. Some of this risk parameters are not available in this funded guides because obviously you know, they want to test to see how disciplined and how good of a risk management plan you have on your own. So you just got to be aware of that and you got to be very, very disciplined when it comes to that. And the last con, you know, for Mac traders, the Rhythmic uh, Pro platform is not... Um, compatible with Mac as is a lot of the trading platforms. So if you're a Mac user, I'm sure you already know that there's a few hassles when it comes to using trading platforms. So you might need to use some kind of uh, parallels or some kind of uh, software to be able to run Windows applications. Okay. Now, Let's talk specifically now about Apex, their rules and the advantages all together in one. So for me, the number one advantage is there's less rules than most of their competitors. You can pass in as little as seven trading days. So this is not calendar, calendar days, this is trading days. So if you trade Monday through Friday, those are five days, and then you would need at least two more days also, okay? Most other companies require you to trade for 10 days, 14, some of them even a month. So it's very fast to be able to pass with Apex. You can trade 23 hours a day from 6 p.m. Eastern when the Futures Day opens till one minute before the daily settlement to 4.59 p.m. Eastern time. Um, there's no position size scaling rule. A lot of companies, they'll require you, um, you know, you're going to be allowed to start, I don't know, let's say trading two contracts of the E-mini or whatever, mini, mini and Q, etc. And until you hit a third, a certain profit target or a certain uh, profit uh, level, then you can go into three. Then after that, you can go into four, etc. With Apex, there's no rule with this. You can trade the maximum allowed contracts right from the start, and you're not going to get liquidated or you're not going to lose if you accidentally put bigger size. This is something that I really do not like about other companies. Uh, for example, uh, Earn to Trade does this, which is something that you just got to be careful with. If you accidentally, you know, if you're allowed to put four contracts and by accident you have a fat finger and you press and you go to five, they'll just liquidate you and you lose the account. Whereas technically here, you know, you can just use the maximum size or it, the system is just going to reject if you cannot put the size, uh, you know, if you try to put more than what you can. The trailing drawdown is the only main rule, which every company that does this has a trailing drawdown. A few of them have a static uh, drawdown account, as I'm going to show you here. I know Lilo had one, Apex has one, but for the most part, 95% of accounts in these companies are going to have a trailing drawdown, and I'll explain this in detail soon. Um, 
Apex has no daily drawdown limit. This is another thing most companies will have both a trailing drawdown and a daily drawdown limit. With Apex, there's no daily drawdown, so you don't have to worry about a specific daily limit. And the resets are cheaper. They're $80. Most other companies will charge $100. So basically, if you you know if you hit your trailing drawdown and you get liquidated if you just want to get back immediately to trade you can pay an 80 dollar reset and you don't have to wait until your monthly membership renews the next cycle etc okay now account types i'm not gonna go into huge detail on this but they have eight main accounts and one of those accounts is a static account so that means there's no trailing drawdown instead it's just a 625 static drawdown and it's a little account you know you can see your profit goal is 2000 and uh, your drawdown is only 625 so this is mostly an account focused for trading micros because if you trade minis with this I mean, each point on a mini is $50. So, you know, you can very easily just hit this drawdown using minis. So I would use micros. But other than that, all the other accounts, you know, uh, the sizes vary. Each one has its specific trailing drawdown, its specific goal, and its allowed size. So 17 minis or 170 micros, etc. Okay? One thing that I want to point out is, you know, people see this and that is sort of deceiving because they see this and they say, oh, OK, I got a hundred fifty thousand dollar account. I can risk one percent per trade. So that would be I can risk fifteen hundred dollars a trade, you know, and that's not how you have to look at it. Your true account size is going to be your trailing drawdown. This is what you need to focus on. So you got to plan your risk management based on what the trailing drawdown is. This is in reality the amount of money that you're allowed to play with. So that's something very important that people don't really look at it that way. But if you want to be successful, then you got to focus just on the trailing drawdown size. Now, commissions. Obviously, there's always commissions in this. As you can see here, this is for the minis in this side. And then this is for the micros on this side. So if you're trading uh, the S&P 500, the ES, uh, each round trip commission would be $3.98 per contract. A round trip commission means that you open a trade and then you close it. So you get a commission when you open and one when you close, which is the one side. So then all together, open and closing in one trade is what we would call a round trip. And this is the commission. So obviously you need to take this into account because commissions are going to eat into your profits or they're going to magnify your losses as well. So you got to be aware of those commissions. Now, the trailing drawdown rule. I have a whole video dedicated to this on my channel, so I'm not going to go super into detail, but I'll go through an example that they had there on Apex in their frequently asked questions. So let's say you're on a $50,000 account, so your liquidation is $47,500 because your trailing drawdown is $2,500, okay? Now, let's say you open a trade, and you put a take profit at $500 and it hits it. Obviously, we're ignoring commissions for now, just for the easiness of the example. So now your balance is going to be $50,500. And your trailing drawdown has now gone up to $48,000 because it follows your live account balance. So it went up $500, just like your balance went up $500, okay? So now, the important thing is, your trailing drawdown follows your live account balance. So 
let's say you enter another trade and your account uh you get up to fifty two thousand at one point but you have not closed the trade and then it starts coming back against you and you close when you're at fifty one thousand so what happened there well your balance went up by another five hundred dollars but at one point you were fifteen hundred dollars in profit right here and you let it come back one thousand dollars so now your threshold is also going to go up fifteen hundred dollars to forty nine thousand five hundred even though you only secured um five hundred dollars in profits you understand because this follows your unrealized profits and so in this case you let it go up fifteen hundred dollars but then it came down and you closed at 500 but the trailing drawdown is going to look for the highest equity point that you had in the account okay so this is very very important so as you can see the liquidation drawdown threshold is not based on when you close the trade but is based on the highest balance when you are in a trade um so yeah during your evaluation the drawdown will not stop trailing until the trailing stops hits the profit target so that means if you're starting with a fifty thousand dollar account your drawdown starts at forty seven thousand five hundred once you get your um your balance up to fifty three thousand dollars for example here then once it gets to fifty three thousand dollars then it will stop trailing your account balance basically once it gets up to your original account balance on the drawdown then it's going to stop uh trailing your account okay so same thing here like if we go back into here let's say you're in the um 100k the trailing drawdown is three thousand dollars so that means your liquidation is at ninety seven thousand so once you get this balance over a hundred and three thousand and your liquidation price reaches a hundred thousand which is your original account balance then it's going to stop trailing and it's just going to stop at a hundred thousand okay and that's where it's just going to stay no matter how many more profits you make okay now the sign up process is very simple you just go choose your account size that you want um, put your payment information you're going to get a few emails one is going to be just your user id for apex site and you make an account there you get an email with all the rules that i've gone over already then you're gonna get on your dashboard once you set up a username and password this is your main dashboard in the apex website is going to tell you what contract you have the general rules uh is going to tell you uh when it expires and your next billing is going to be as you can see here i got this with a 50 percent discount which you can get with my link as well so i'm paying half price there and then from here there's two things that you need to do right away first thing you click on this link here download our trader pro that's the main platform used by rhythmic and that's what the companies all use to track your performance so even though you might be using another trading platform like ninja sierra etc you need to be checking our trader pro as well just because all the data that they use are, is based off of everything that is shown there and then the next step is this rhythmic setup and key so with there if you go into that screen it brings you here and this is your rhythmic username and your password and if you're using ninja your license okay so with this username and password 
This is what you're going to use to set up your trading platform. So for example, here, if I go into Sierra chart, that username and password, I would just go into file, data trade services. I would choose from the selected services. I would choose rhythmic direct. Keep in mind, if you use Sierra chart, you need to have Denali activated for this. That means that you're going to need service package 10 or 11. Okay. And then once you select this, then you just put your username here, your password and all three slots. And you're going to shift from the server. You look for Apex and whatever is closest to you and you click apply all. And then you're going to get this green bar indicating that you're connected. But basically that username and password that you get in the sign up process, that's what you're going to use to connect any platform you're using to Rhythmic. Okay. Now, once you download our Trader Pro and you open it, you're going to get a screen like this. And over here, I recommend you highlight Remember Me so you don't have to keep putting this every time. You're going to put your user ID, your password. You're going to select Apex from the system. And again, just select the CD that is closest to you. If you're a first time user, you're going to get this window here where basically it's two agreements for the data and also the certify that you're a non-professional so you get a cheaper data feed and you're going to need to sign them once you sign them then this is just going to turn green and then you are good to go until you do this the rhythmic data is not going to be activated so if you're a first time user make sure you do that now inside the R Trader Pro platform when you open it and you sign in you're going to get a bunch of icons here on the left. In reality, only the only four that I use are the four that I highlighted here. Recent orders, just to check what things you have pending. Positions, so you can check anything that you have open. This is important too, because if you're, let's say if you have a trade open, and suddenly something happens to your trading platform and it freezes or shuts down and you have a live trade and you want to close it and get out you can open our trader pro go to positions and then you're going to see there's going to be a line with all your order details and your position and there's going to be a little x on the left here if you press that x that's going to close any positions you have open so you can close positions right here from our trader pro so that's an important thing to know then your order history obviously this is where you can check all your transactions and everything and look at statistics and then your apex trader dashboard is going to take you into this screen and basically you're going to have your account numbers here your account balance at this moment. So this is where you really want to go if you want to check your live account balance. It's going to give you your liquidation price. This is before I started trading the account. So you can see I had a $100,000 account and my liquidation is $97,000 because it's a $3,000 trailing drawdown. Okay. But here you can get all your information. If you scroll this all the way to the right, it's going to tell you how much commissions you're paying for that session, etc. Okay. And then once you pass, this is all information you can get at the Apex website, but you're entitled to the first 100% of your first 25,000 in profits and 90% after that. Uh, you may request and receive payout twice a month. And in your dashboard, there's these two icons, which is where you would go to process this. You need to sign up for a company called Deal, which is the one that deals with all their payouts. And here's just the instructions. 
once you complete seven trading days and you hit your target uh, stop trading you're gonna get an email within two business days and you just follow the instructions and you're gonna get a funded account for the same size as what your evaluation was so you gotta if you got a hundred thousand dollar account to evaluate your funded account is going to be the same hundred thousand with the same set of parameters as far as your maximum position size the same trailing drawdown etc okay same trading hours allowed and that's pretty much it so as you can see apex another one of this uh funding companies that are available uh, i've tried several of this and i really like the fact that apex has uh one of the um fastest times to get funded and also some of the more lenient and flexible rules out there pretty much you know no position limit no daily drawdown you can trade during uh news events as well 23 hours a day etc so if you want to check them out they have a really good uh frequently asked question on their website as well you can get all your answers there too and again if you want to get 50 percent discount on the evaluation please consider using my link and with this coupon code you get a 50 percent off any evaluation for life and yeah that's pretty much it if you have questions or comments about them let me know in the uh below make sure to subscribe to the channel notifications on so you don't miss out on any of the content in the future and i'll see you all in the next video take care